Hello and welcome back to Box of Delights. In this video I want to give you an overview of John Gibson's infection, Humanity's Last Gasp. This is one of Victory Point Games Solitaires and it's in a nice small box. I recommend this one as, you know, if you're, if you're looking for a small game to travel and pack, you can't go too far wrong with infection for a solitaire game. The game board comes in a kind of jigsaw puzzle layout. It's got two sides. There's a more difficult viral side uh, with a red border and a bacterial side, which is the easy side, so-called. It's not easy, it offers you a good challenge, and it's a great way to start playing the game. The premise of the game is that we're director of the Department of Play Control with our field office in New York City. We make decisions about which parts of the virus to study. This is the virus here. And we can hire personnel. We're going to have a bunch of cards that represent the uh, personnel and equipment that we can purchase. Each of these scientists brings different skills to the table, but they don't all work well together. Some of them don't get on with their colleagues. We win by clearing this virus area. We'll be placing molecules from the virus here and our aim is to kind of get rid of them all and, and therefore cure this virus. Below this is our incubator. This is where proteins are going to appear that we can harvest. And harvested proteins will be heading over here to the vaccine area where there's a possible 12 antibodies to discover to combat the virus. The death toll marker starts down here and in this zone we're at Stage one called the outbreak. As this moves up, as the game progresses, then we hit epidemic, pandemic, and eventually we lose the game. Our funding starts at fifteen dollars, so we place this funding token with a plus ten dollars face up on the five. For the bacterial game, we don't need these three tokens M, N, and O, but we'll need the rest. So these are removed. And these are our molecules, and what you want to do really is place these into an opaque cup. Alright, so I'm going to do that and give them a good shuffle. These are the, the viral molecules that are going to be getting placed here. To start off our virus, we're going to grab one of these molecules at random and place it in the centre of the viral area. Now we're going to start with B1, draw one randomly and place them all the way around B2, B3 to B6. Some of these molecules are more difficult to find antibodies for than, than others. They come in three, four and five protein configurations and this corresponds to what you're seeing over here in the vaccine area. So K, being a five protein molecule, will need five proteins in order to target and destroy that molecule. Next we need to find our special event tokens. These are round and they're either red or blue and we're going to separate them into two piles. We're only going to use a certain number of these during the game. So let's turn them face down and give them a shuffle. We'll take two and we'll put the rest aside. So those are two red and then two blue. These eight will go back to the game box, we don't need these. And the four we've drawn are going to go to the molecule pool. Next we've got two decks of cards, we've got these status report cards which we've shuffled. These are the things that are going to drive the game along, like event cards if you're used to solitaire games, that's a familiar concept. And then obviously the, uh, the personnel and equipment. Next we're going to take all our protein tiles, these are square ones, place them on another cup. This is our protein pool, and we're going to start by drawing four. And we're going to fill up the 0, 1, 2, and 3 spaces of the incubator. These are our four proteins that are available to us for the first turn. The numbers on these just reflect how many of these proteins are available in the game. So there's only two of these, but there's six of these circular blue ones. We also need some starting cards 
for personnel and equipment for the first term. But before we do, we're going to kind of add a little bit of variability by removing five cards from the game. They won't be used. And then drawing three face up. A set of other tokens that may be used throughout the course of the game. We're going to place those to one side. But I'll put them in this cut for now. And now we can begin the game. I'll run you through a turn or two. So the first thing we do is we grab a status report card and this is going to dictate the course of the turn. This status report says I can't share my recipe but the key ingredient is beer. Sounds like the kind of recipe I'd enjoy. Okay, three sections on here. Start with mutation. It says draw two molecules from the molecule pool and place them, and it gives me specific hexes. Sometimes it asks to place them on vacant hexes, on an existing molecule, or even specifies hexes. So it says C2 and C6. So let's draw them in order. So I draw a molecule at random. So it gives a bit of a shuffle because we mixed in those special events. C2. Okay, it's an E molecule and there's C2 and C6. Which is here as an A molecule. If one of these hexes was already occupied, then you would discard the existing one face down and replace it with the, the new one drawn. If we'd drawn a special event, then we would resolve that special event and then and then can continue drawing until we've uh, resolved requirements of the stage report card. Next we go down to the lab section and these are kind of lab wide effects. They may be in effect for the whole term. They may be optional like this one. Eugene is trying out new growth cultures and he's getting amazing results. You may harvest your two proteins for free this round. So that's a nice little benefit that we're going to get. Finally we have the the death section here. It says no more reported deaths in the Congo. The virus has burned itself out. No change to your role on the containment check this round. So one of the phases is called a containment check, and this will modify that containment check, but there's no modification from this status card. Now we move into the player actions phase, and I'll run you through some of the actions you can take on your turn. The first one's called harvesting proteins. These are these things here, and these things are going to cost you funding. You can harvest one or two of these proteins on your turn, and there's a cost associated with them, and it depends on which spot in the incubator they are. So this one's going to cost you zero dollars. This one one, this one two, this one four. Okay, so if I chose to harvest these two, that would be a cost of six. All right. Now, the good thing is I had this lab of thing. You may harvest your two proteins for free this round. So I can grab any two here, and they're not going to cost me anything. So let's do that. Let's grab two. Once we've grabbed these, what we're going to do is put them onto an unoccupied space on an incomplete antibody in our vaccine area. So we've got to choose which ones of these molecules we're going to target. There is a condition though, we couldn't go after this molecule here, for example, or indeed even this E1, because at least three sides of its hex must be empty or exposed, I suppose you could say. So if I went for the A here, for example, that would free up the E, if I manage to destroy this A, okay? Um, a needs this green circle, this red star, and the blue circle. So I could put the blue circle here. I do want to go for A, and then E. So I'm going to put this one here on the E spot. If we had completed any proteins, then we could be firing at those. We'll, um, we'll play on a little bit until we can, we can actually complete one of these proteins. The next thing we could do is spend some of our funds to buy lab equipment and personnel cards. In fact, with that in mind, I'm going to move that, mm, that protein down to the E, because at least then I'm two-thirds of the way rather than one-third of the way on two. And what I'd like to grab is the absorption SPN Mark III. Each of these pieces of equipment have two costs. It says first unit $4, second unit $8. So what that means is that the second time you buy, it upgrades your existing one. And it costs a little bit, a little bit more. So for example, the first one, 
this will only work when if you when you roll a die and you get a four, five, or a six. If you upgrade it and buy it, the second card that comes out, then it will also it'll be an automatic success if you want to use it. So let's buy this. It's going to cost me four dollars. So we'll reduce our money down to eleven. And there we go. We've completed our action. So that's what you can do. Okay. Harvest proteins. Place them over here. If you've completed any um, proteins, then you can destroy molecules. You can purchase personnel and lab equipment, and then you can finally use any purchased lab equipment. This one says all other conditions still apply. So although it says destroy a molecule with one or two visible sides, we still need to get the antibody. Now we head into the containment phase. In this phase, we roll a six-sided die. We rolled a five. We check our death toll. It says the success is any value from three to six. And this is going to get tougher as this goes up. All right, so we'll, at this point, we've got a success. The other thing to take account of is the death section. I remember R said no change to your roll on the containment check round. So we just take the dice as it's rolled. It's successful. Rolling a natural six is always successful, irrespective of any modifiers. So there's always a chance you're going to succeed, even if it's a slim chance. However, there is one more modifier. If there's any molecules in the C ring, this outside ring, we've got two in there, then you minus one from your roll, so we've only rolled a four. It's still a success though, we only need three to six, so that marker stays where it is. On a failure, it would move one spot further on. So you can see that there's a, a number of ways to affect that die roll and stop the advance of the game. We've reached the completion of this turn now, but before we do, we just do a little cleanup phase. We discard these, we repopulate the incubator, and then once this pool becomes empty, we'll repopulate with our, with our discard pile. We'll repopulate this by drawing another card. If we didn't purchase any of these, then we could choose one of them to replace with the top card from the draw deck. And lastly, we get some income outbreak. So when we're on what points one to three, it says we get two dollars here. So we go from 11 to 13. You can see once we hit four and we're in epidemic, you only get one dollar. And then when you hit seven, pandemic, you're getting no funding. So make good use of your money in the early stages. OK, let's head into the next turn and continue playing. We didn't get the, the green one we were looking for. Uh, this time it says, I'm not your damn monkey, fix your own equipment. Starting with the mutation then, it says the virus is stabilised, there's no mutation this round, that's good news. Lab, Robert refuses to fix another broken centrifuge and decides to go fishing. You cannot use Dr. Robert Foster this round, well we haven't got him yet. Um, and then we'll look at deaths when we get there. Well first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Aspirator Mark II. It says this unit has been tested and certified Two. Once per turn, you may disassemble an incomplete antibody and redistribute those proteins to other incomplete antibodies. So I'm going to pay for this one. It costs three dollars. Let's put some money down to ten dollars. I want to use this aspirator, um, and it only succeeds on a roll of four to six. To mark it as used. You can turn it face down, you can turn it sideways if you want. Let's do that instead. We need a roll of a 4, 5 or a 6. Yep, we've got a 5. And what that allows me to do is disassemble a protein and reassemble. Yep, so I'm going to disassemble this one, assemble it here, purchase these two, place them here. That completes the eye. However, the eye molecule has only got two exposed sides. That doesn't matter. We could use the absorption SPM Mark III, because that says we can destroy a molecule with only one or two visitors, except that you can only use one piece of lab equipment each round. So, um, yeah, that's not so good as it goes. If we did target and destroy the eye molecule, we would get some extra funding the num big number four here. You only get the funding if you complete the antibody and destroy the molecule on the same 
turn, the same round. Um, we're not going to be able to do that, so we're not going to get the funding. There's extra four dollars, but hey, never mind. That will end our turn. So let's clean that up. Refresh this. I don't know. We need to do our containment roll, don't we? We need a uh, three to six. Oh, it's a two. Okay, that's a fail. So that's going to go up. It was always looking bad anyway, because in the death section it says, there's been no contact with New Zealand for days. Subtract two from your roll on the containment check this round. So that takes that roll down to zero. It was always going to be tough. Let's refill. We get our $2 funding as well from being in here. Oh, and refill the incubator. And we got the green that we were looking for. Let's draw up for the next turn. It says it's making the Black Death look like the common cold. Mutation, draw one molecule from the molecule pool and place it on hex C12. And it's B on C12. Next it says it's uh, 4th of July today. Nobody feels like celebrating. No lab event this round. Deaths, the entire island of Ireland has been quarantined. You must move the death toll marker forward one space this round. Okay, well, we'll do that when we get to the containment phase. So let's see, what shall we do? Let's deal with that eye. So we'll roll this. We're looking for a four, five, or a six. Yeah, we've got a six. Okay, so we've targeted and destroyed this eye molecule. We place this in the middle of this antibody. And these go to the discard pile. Okay, we can't claim the four dollars because we didn't complete the antibody and destroy that molecule on the same turn, so we don't get this four dollar bonus. We've exposed the side of the D molecule, which is good, and now E here has three exposed. This reds A would be good, perhaps. That green, well, I'm guessing that another green is going to come out. There aren't that many left. Let's take this red one and this blue one at a cost of two dollars. Okay. I'm going to put them on the A spot, I think. Remember, I've got my, uh, my aspirator, which allows me to move them if I need to. I quite like the look of the homogenizer Mark III. It costs four dollars. I might buy this. What this means is if I place a protein, so here on G, where it needs two of the same, it actually fills both those slots. So I quite like that one. Okay. Linda has never ridden a horse before, but she won't let that stop her from getting to Phoenix tonight. No lab event this round. <laughs> Strange. Okay, so let's have a crack at two. We can buy two proteins, can't we? Well, I think C is a good bet. I'm going to grab these two. I think the two green ones. It's going to cost me three dollars. We're down to six dollars. I'll place one here, and I'm hoping to place one here and cover two with it. Let's see if we can use that piece of a kit equipment. It was the homogenizer. If you're placing a protein on ants, but it requires two, it can count for both. You may roll for success before harvesting any protein. So we could have um, tried it and seen if that was successful. Okay, well let's, let's just roll. I need a four, five, or a six. Okay, it's a six. That's good. So we'll place this one kind of covering both, like so. And we've completed the A antibody. So let's target and destroy an A. There's actually a couple here. Let's grab this one, take $4 reward. So that moves us from 6 back up to 10. We'll complete 
this antibody. There you go. To the discard pile. Now there's another A here on the two ring, so we can target that one as well. You can target any number of molecules you wish. Um, so we'll grab this A. And we don't get the reward this time, it only happens the first time you uh, discover the antibody and, and target and destroy a molecule. So there's no reward, that's why we want to go for the four rather than the two. So that one goes, and we'll just stack it with this A here. We want to buy anything else? Actually, I might buy Robert Foster. He's a good lab technician. He costs six dollars. And what Dr. Robert Foster says is he gets these three tokens. Place the three additional lab equipment use tokens on this card. You may discard a token to use a second set of lab equipment cards this turn. So he's a useful guy to have around. So we'll grab these three tokens because this shows you that it's a three use ability. Of course, that cost me six dollars to get him, so we're down to four. But what that means is now I could use one of these tokens and um, use one of these other pieces of lab equipment. It's normally only limited to one per turn, right? I could use two now. That will do it. Let's do our containment roll. It's a three. That's a fail. So this goes up one more, and then reset stuff. So you can see uh, things can clock along quite quickly. This is empty now so everything goes back in and we'll draw four more. We're going to finish up the episode here. Hopefully this gives you a, a good idea of how this game plays. It plays quite quickly. It's a nice small compact game. Um, I'm going away for a couple of nights up in London uh, this week so this is definitely coming with me because um, it will slip in my bag and you know, just pull it out and have a nice little way to unwind at the end of the day on a solitaire game. The game's set up nicely. I'm going to carry on playing here. I think uh, I've got this one, this protein here. It's going to finish up my C. I'll get rid of these two. So uh, it's looking good. And we're halfway through. So maybe that's moved up a little bit quicker than I hoped. My containment rolls weren't that good. But I noticed Dr. Melinda Yi, a lead scientist, just came out and she says place a three plus two containment check roll tokens on this card. You may discard one token before rolling your containment check to add two to the die roll. So you can mitigate those rolls with some, some specialists. That's Infection, Humanity's Last Gasp. Great little solitaire from Victory Point Games. And a wonderful design from John Gibson. See you next time.